Oh, is there another spot to stand? I'm I have trouble spotting these little you can stand here spots. That has been true during my entire playthrough of this game. It's fine, like I always eventually do find myself. But it's funny how consistent it's been. I mean, I feel like it's kind of inevitable with the shape of things, right? I don't know. Ooh, this looks pretty. There's a sniper team guarding this area. Oh, we're on a roof already. On the other side. Be careful, Faith. Yeah. I'm being very sneaky. So I need to get on the other side, huh? Whoa! Over there, there's a red. That's my goal! Oh, jeez. Everything is so dark. Oh, there's a lot of snipers, actually. Uh, is that... No, that's not solid on my end. Oh boy, uh, okay, wait, I can use this to go over here. Maybe that's something I want to do, I'm not sure. Well, there's no roof on this little thing, but... Come on, get up there. Get shot at, I guess. Jump over just the laser aim that's here. Oh shoot, I misaimed! This is how my adventure ends! <laughs> We're crossing roofs. Yeah, there's no chicken wire on this guy. See, I feel like I have an excuse for not seeing things super well here because it's nighttime. That is clearly like an intended feature. Okay, don't do that. That won't work. Alright, so let's go down lower because from here I can actually jump. Land here. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of lasery attention. What are you gonna do about it? Shoot me? They even open up this door open. Um. Okay, what do I do from here? Can I? Whoa! I totally can. What killed me? Alright, so in theory, this goes against every one of my instincts, but I can just chill out underneath the box and wait for the blinking right corners to go away, which... Is it weird to say I don't like that about modern video game design? It kind of brings me out of it a little bit knowing. Like, I understand why it happens for gameplay reasons? But it kind of brings me out of it knowing that no matter how many bullets I'm riddled in, taking a little break and, nah, you're fine, you're gonna be okay, is just weird. Alright, so see again. Like, I can just kind of chill out here and wait for things to get better, and then I can go like, hey, Trendo, yeah, how about we do a little violence party? Oh, good. Where you at, boy? No, I think that's like the receiving end of the snipe. I don't know anything. Where am I being shot at? What's the angle? I don't know. Where am I trying to go at? That's a valid question. Over there. Okay. Stop I'm being shot at right now. Someone is screaming. Move, move, move. Guess I'm gonna cross this little bridge. This little bridge went home. Yeah, okay. Huh? High voltage. Be careful. Don't get shot at while you're on the high voltage pipe. You can help it. We. All right. And that little crawl. Little crawl stunt is a lot of fun. Oh shoot, okay, this is a bad idea, bad idea, bad idea. What am I? Well, I didn't understand when I was stuck underneath. Okay, I got one of them, but of course there's two of them layered. Do I have a little angry thing? I really don't. Like, they really expect you to, like, just zoom in. And then you can't see anything? It's pretty good. How did 
can I not get you? Just wait. Just wait for the blinky lights to go away. Perfect. Alright, there's another guy down below. I lost him. There we go. Anyone else? Because I'm done. She threw away the gun without me telling her. It's too bad, because there's like one more dummy right there. Alright, so, my goal is that building, that door. Alright. Big jump! And of course I mess up. Of course I mess up. Really? Okay. Get the guy there, I just don't think I can. Jump from more better. Okay, okay. That was honestly that was pretty alright. Like I said, it took until the end of the game, but I'm now comfortable enough There's with the combat. Ahead. I've managed to unlock it. Take Sweet. it to the server room. You should be able to get to the top floor and gate from there. Alright, so we're still not on the top floor, huh? Well no, we saw the building from outside. There's like decks on it. Whew, okay. No, uh, propaganda in this elevator, huh? Ooh, this is pretty nice looking, though. I mean, it's a little distracting. I can tell where it stops being model, and it's a photograph, but if you don't pay attention to that, this looks pretty rad. It looks like the security doors to the roof are closed. Okay. Uh-huh. If you destroy those servers, their emergency protocol should automatically unlock the door. That sounds like a dangerous thing to do. Good luck, Faith. All right. We're destroying serve oh. surveillance for the whole city right under your nose, Faith. Oh wait, are we breaking down the whole like system? To the roof. They've got a chopper coming in. You have to be quick. What the Oh. Alright then. Miller. Miller. I'm not a yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh. Okay, well that was awkward. What am I trying to do though? Great vision. Oh, I need to be on over on top, huh? Alright, we'll try to make that happen as best as we can. There we go, right in the comfy spot. Meanwhile, someone's shooting me from somewhere, I don't know where. Okay, like I didn't see any shots hitting me, but... Like, you... you... You can't attack anyone. Because I can go in the middle, otherwise I just get shot too. Like, I don't... I guess these are the servers. Oh. Can 
I like mess them up this way? According to Fade Vision, where I want to go is on top of these floors, I guess. But how? Like... Sweet. Am I supposed to press button with this? With this keyboard? I'm not getting much of a reaction there. I mean, those are the... Where? 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 Okay. Sure. Instantly kill me. Where? Okay, just get killed from an angle. I'm guessing that's a guy I just killed there. To oh, I'm out of gun. Oh, what are you doing here? Oh, the scuff mark has disappeared. The strong cameras. Like, what's my goal? Help me out here. I mean, I guess I can destroy the servers this way. Like, why do you have to shoot to destroy them? Like, some of them just kind of, like, fry up. Oh, whoops, that was on, on purpose. Right, there doesn't seem to be anyone here. I got a thing over my head. It's very weird. Some of them, like, can clearly see blow up. But not all of them. Alright, so... Alright. Fate Vision does not activate or say anything special. Oh, but now those doors are open. Very well. I don't know what the cause and effect is, but the music uh, slowed down. Did not read that as Finnis. <laughs> that I did not. Alright, I just kind of messed up a whole lot of people's days here. Pretty good. Oh, that was weird. Oh, this is dark. Hey, roof access. Look at that. It's so nice and blue. There's the helicopter. There's a cutscene. Looking around. We should be looking up there. Oh, she's probably looking for soldiers around, which is what I don't do. And then I get frustrated. Hello, Faith. Hi. Jack, if you could Attitudes like that. That's well, that's exactly why I could. What? What are you actually doing? Let's just say I know who the bigger fish are. Callahan. Why are you looking there? We're no threat. Classic warfare. Break the lines of communication. Shoot the messengers. Without hope. And without the runners. Your clients. Those who just won't let go of the old city will be cut off. Vulnerable. And this city can clean up the last of its. Race. So this is just the start. I prefer to think of it as an end. Still, you did a remarkably good job of coaxing out all those loose ends surrounding Pope's demise. It's why you're still alive. Faye, do something. You can't live on the edge all your life, Faye. Sooner or later, you have to jump. I'm jumping all the time. I pressed spacebar because I saw the, the helicopter thing becoming red. 
Jeez as hell. Um, that might be a problem. Okay, but you do bring me back here. This Whoa! What? <laughs> uh oh, the helicopter's busted. Uh, do you have a parachute? I think I'm in cutscene mode, but I don't know. Oh, jeez. Um, okay, you're doing good. I'm doing all right. Oh, that was disorienting. Yeah, whoop it I. Hey. <laughs> what well, I was silly. Ah, uh, this is a much better first-person hug. Well, we're just kind of stuck here now. <laughs> so yeah, we destroyed the server, so we kind of ruined the infrastructure of how the city functions. Is my understanding from context. So, Jack and I've got what he wanted. It's just that also he died. He will live on as a martyr. What a weird story. I kind of dig it. A lot of the story exists so that the video game exists, which is absolutely fine do that more often but uh okay all right that's the last bite sure oh this is loud compared to the rest of the sound this game okay uh also i beat the game <laughs> i was told the game was short it's nice playing a game that's short you know i i enjoy shortness in games yeah, so it's like I was saying, I sort of came to grasp with the- you can see the little arrow. I sort of- you can tell we're in menu mode now, not in gameplay mode. Um, yeah, like, I, I came into grasp with the fighting mechanics kind of at the last minute. Kind of like right on time. But yeah, I feel like if I were to replay the entire game, with this level of comfort for the fights, I think a lot of the places that kind of rub me the wrong way would be okay. I'm not saying I would like them, but they would go a lot more smoothly. The game is... I feel... <laughs> my take on the game is... I'm kind of sad because it's... I feel like it's the same take everyone has. Uh, excellent game. Fantastic game. When the game is at its best, it is so good. But there's a definitely a different learning curve for the fights, which doesn't nail it. And I don't know how to fix that. Uh, someone in the comments said the game was set basically unfinished, and basically the game we play here, which is called Mirror's Edge, is not the full thing that DICE envisioned. Uh, I would believe it. But also, that could explain the jankiness of some things. Uh, but yeah, I feel like I don't really have all that much to say. Like, those are my thoughts. I feel like they're pretty, uh... Pretty straightforward. Uh, because, I don't know, like, my, 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 my thoughts on these games are pretty straightforward thoughts. Uh, really cool, really nice. I know there's DLC, but you gotta play on Origins, and I don't wanna play on Origins, so I'm just gonna forget that's there. I hope you don't mind. Like, I would love to play more, but not enough to get Origins, so... <laughs> there's my take on that. Oh. Yeah. The suspects in the act are none other than the former CPF officer and accused murderer Kate Connors and her sister Faith Connors. Although the scope Sweet. of the cause of the outages is as yet unclear, many troubling questions have emerged in their wake, including the role of the so-called runners in the destabilization of city operations. In the aftermath of the incident, 
local security firm Pirandello Kruger will be assisting the CPF. PK and the mayor's office have also recommended mobile phone and email be used sparingly until additional security measures have been deployed, as their security has been temporarily compromised. The whereabouts of both suspects are currently unknown. It's kind of... It's kind of a bit of a personal downer ending for Faye, like, alright, sweet, you're a fugitive now! <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> I mean, I feel like runners were, for the most part, basically fugitives, but still. Ah, <sighs> and that's the title screen. Alright, I, yeah, no, it's good. A uh, game, you know, like for a game two th from 2008. This is a 2009 port, but still um, aged very well. I felt like, in terms of like, okay, so the people kind of look like weird meat puppets when uh, the camera's too close to them. But like the environments, to me at the very least, to keep keep in mind that I don't play modern games, right? Uh, but I thought that environments were, like, they look great. It helps that it is extremely stylized, extremely abstract and minimalistic. That helps a lot, but yeah, style counts for a lot. It's with style that you, you can create eternal art rather than art that ages. And you kind of see both of them in this game with uh, the environment and the people model. With that said, though, like, you know, like, they're done well and they're, they're well puppeted and all that. Is it something worth bringing up, I guess? I don't know. Do I plan on playing ever Catalysts? Uh, I know the sequel is open world and boy howdy, do I... is... just telling me a game is open world is like, oh, you did it! You shut down all my interest ha uh, valves. Good job. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I like tightly designed levels. And almost by definition, you kind of can't have that in, in, in open world. I mean, sure, you can have areas that are tightly designed levels. But having to go through non-tightly designed non-levels to get to those... I'd, I'd rather just start at the good part rather than muddle through the middling part, you know? Like, I don't know, that's just me. To be fair, this is an opinion forged from someone who has somewhat limited um, interaction with, uh, with open world games, but that is my ill-informed opinion and you can't do anything about it. Uses Bink Video Technology! Finally, thanks Rad Game Tools Incorporated. Uh, hey. Uh, well, yeah. Thank people. And thank you for making this game. This is like what, uh, part of the last generation where big uh, production companies would actually sometime release games that are not, you know, triple A. They're like single A games. And that's great. I love single A games. They but they're dead now. Modern society, modern economics does not let the creation of single A games. Every game needs to be an event because if you don't literally double the last game profit world record, then actually it's an absolute failure and everyone loses their job as long as you're not part of the board. Well, this is getting a bit too real, but it's also, I feel, sort of in character for... What's an extra? Oh, got unlockables. What's an unlockables? We got ourselves sketches, check it out. Uh, that's what faith looks like. Oh, I can't... Do I remember that? Next magazine cover. Notice is the absence of weapon. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Slightly more Eurasian. And look. There you go. Big violent punch. I feel like Fate would be a bad fugitive because of her face tattoo. Which is incredibly easy to see. And also, it's right next to our eyes, so like you can't even like hide your face with a scarf or something. People will just know Faith is Faith, no matter what. 
The runner vision. It's just a bit of red everywhere. These are pretty cool. I could view image, but this is faster and we can get a, a grasp of what's going on. There's Celeste. Oh, she used to be more of a junkie. <laughs> she cleaned up over time. There's a CPF. Yep. Sometimes they wear helmets and sometimes they don't. Whoa. Jagknife changed a lot. Yeah, and he turned blue when uh, he became not a runner. Oh, Mercury, Merc, okay. That's a, you know, it's mercenary. There's RB and his golden teeth. I mean, the SWAT kind of look like SWAT. Uh, there's the roller derby gang. Okay, Project Icarus, that part of the story does not make any sense. I mean, for what it's worth... In the final continuity, Faith never got actually shot by anyone. She did the whole thing without dying. Something which, uh, hmm. You know, so, so for them to then start evil roller derby team kind of makes sense. Because, you know, the whole gun thing has never been working out. Uh, it's just kind of silly though, because in game, I'm aware as a player that wow uh guns are extremely effective against runners actually <laughs> you do not need to start a team of evil uh derbies but that's fine these are the cutscenes in the game we've seen all of them and if i want to i can see them again here's the music uh, there's a lot of music. They all have a plus because I haven't selected them yet. Will that ever happens? I'm gonna be real. It's unlikely. But I always appreciate it. Who's gonna turn on a game though to listen to the music? This... <sighs> YouTube was still not as omnipresent. Either. Like nowadays it wouldn't make a lot of sense. You'd put them on Spotify or something. But back then I guess it does make sense. Did I ever go back to a game that had a sound test to listen to the music in it? Yes, I have as a kid, like pre-internet. Hmm. What a strange thought to leave out on.